Okay, all right. Those are the top headlines. Well, the mid-cap side of things doing really well. We have the index in line with the benchmarks up 1%. Couple of stocks in the broader markets which are at the day's high. You have these cement stocks, India Cements and Ambuja Cements. Both these stocks are at the day's high as we speak. Uh, quarter two has been very weak for Ambuja Cements, so uh, there is some recovery that we are seeing from there. That stock is up three percent. We also have Indian Hotels, which is higher in trade today, so that stock also is up three percent. Rain Industries, which has its earnings sometime this week, that one also is sitting with gains of two and a half percent. Balram Puccini, we just spoke to the management of. <laughs> Dwari K Sugar, he expects the second half of the year to be much better. Sugar stocks were under a lot of pressure uh, on Friday, so some recovery is what we are seeing right now. Uh, but overall, if uh, it is looking decent, uh, but Ekta, we do have uh, a corporate that we'll be talking to. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we do have our first company on the show on Midcap Radar today. Compressor manufacturer Kirloskar Pneumatic. The company has delivered what is a healthy second quarter with an over twofold rise in profit even as raw material costs have risen. So, Suhas Kulhatkar, who is the VP and CFO of the company, now joins in to discuss the Q2 performance. Hi, sir. Welcome to the show. You know, uh, it's been a strong growth for your revenue is up around 30 odd percent on a year on year basis and margins too have improved. Uh, can you just tell us what were the key growth driver, drivers this quarter in terms of sales, which were the segments which led the growth higher, and how did you manage to achieve these margins despite raw material volatility that we've seen globally? Uh, hi, Ekta. Nice to be back on your show again. Uh, through your channel, let me wish uh, happy somewhat 2079 to all your viewers uh, at the outset. Well, uh, Kiloska Pneumatic uh, delivered... Uh, 30% as you uh, correctly noticed, YOI sale, uh, growth in the sales. Uh, the quarter on quarter growth sales was about 8%. Uh, this was possible through a robust uh, export sales uh, because our export sales as indicated in the, uh, during the last call, improved to almost 86 crores compared to about 12 crores in the first half of the previous year. This was a major contributor in the growth. Apart from, of course, uh, about, I would say, 15% growth uh, year on year in case of domestic sales. But export sales uh, rose almost by six times. So this has contributed to the margins, number one. Number two, the pressures on the raw material, uh, which were felt during the fourth quarter of the last fiscal and the first quarter in the current quarter, have to a large extent got eased out. So that has resulted in our margins improvement from, I would say, raw material imp uh, consumption improvement to about 55% in the current quarter compared to 58% in the last quarter. So there was almost 3% uh, saving in the raw material cost coming both out of uh, the product mix as well as the re reduction in the cost of the input uh, material. So that helped us in getting our uh, EBITDA numbers better. This is what we had anticipated and this is what I had projected during our last call. Uh, that we would be able to improve our margins in the coming quarters and uh, for the year uh, we will be close or surpass the last uh, year's margins. Okay, so you spoke about how exports have done well for you and 86 crores in this quarter itself. You were working earlier when you had spoken to us, you said 20 to 25 crore is what you can do on a quarterly basis. So that's definitely a big beat there as well. So what is the export target for the year? Earlier you had indicated 100 crores. Uh, Clearly, you will be surpassing that, but what is the absolute number? So, up till now, up to last year, we had been doing about 25 crores on an average, and that was not a great contributor to our total revenue earning. This year, we have done so far about 86 crores, and we are also having close to about 85 crores of orders in hand. As we speak, we have got another 50-odd crores order executed. So, as of today, we are close to about 125, 130 crores of exports, which have already been achieved. We are looking at exports close to about 150 odd crores during this year. There will be a significant jump from 25 crores to 150 crores. So six times rise as we demonstrated in the first uh, half, we'll be able to show the similar rise for the uh, entire year as well. Hmm. Okay. Uh, which markets in the export space are driving this kind of growth, sir? Uh, look, KPCL is essentially addressing uh, the oil and gas market. Mm. We are more, uh, our business is more concentrated for the oil and gas sector. 
and most of our business revenues, whether in domestic market or the export market, has come from the oil and gas sector. This is particularly in the Middle East, and most of the business uh, uh, that we have achieved during this uh, this quarter, tell us, as well as the can you give us quarter. the numbers? Um, can you give us the numbers? How much is being driven by oil and gas? How much is probably being driven by the MENA region? And what is your guidance on both these two factors? Uh, I would say uh, out of 85 crores, uh, our 86 crores, what we have achieved, close to almost 80 crores have come from MENA region. Mm. And uh, mm -hmm. if you uh, have to look at the total uh, revenue composition in the, ex uh, in the oil and gas sector, uh, just allow me to just get the numbers uh, right. It should be in the range of about... Uh, what I can that, see. We it's can okay. get back to that. Yes. We can get back to that. Uh, I'm assuming that that's going to be majority of your sales within that 80, 85... So about 60, 65% of the sales will come from the oil and gas sector. Oh, okay, oh. Sonar, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Kulhatkar, I just want to confirm this 86 crore of export number that you're talking about, it is in the first half or second quarter? Uh, equal in both the quarters. So you As mean I to said, say... In the last call, 40, 40, 43 okay. crores in the first quarter, 42 crores in the second quarter. So 86 crores in the first half. Got it. 86 crores is the first half. All right. So you had guided for a 20% growth target for FY23. You are sitting on a base of around 570 crores in the first half itself. That compares with around 1,000 crores that you did last year. You will be surpassing that guidance then in that case? We will be having 20% growth for sure. That is why we are committed to... Uh, if you look at the order, bo order board or order booking, as you call it, last year at the same time, we had about 1,070 crores orders in hand. Today, we are sitting on 1,200 crores orders in hand. So that definitely will help us in getting uh, better numbers. Uh, our guidance was of 20% growth, and we will be able to achieve that, if not surpass. Okay. Can you articulate uh, for us what the domestic market is doing like in terms of a growth rate? What are the key drivers there? Would that also be the oil and gas segment, which is primarily driving growth? Uh, and what is your uh, guidance on domestic growth? In domestic market, oil and gas, see, uh, you need to look at the oil and gas sector mm. in, uh, pers in a perspective. Because oil and gas sector is divided into upstream, downstream, midstream, and the distribution market. Mm. Upstream market has been doing well. Distribution market, in terms of CNG, where we are the major player, is relatively lit, going little slow. Uh, as we understand, there has been some mm. relaxations given by PNGRB to the gas companies for the installation of the gas stations. And their MWP, there has been some concessions in NWP. So the, compared to the previous year, the distribution side is going little low. However, if you look at 8th and 9th and 10th, 9th uh, and 10th and 11th rounds of uh, city gas distribution, there is a uh, guided uh, numbers that mm -hmm. we would be able to see uh, for the execution in the coming years. Okay. So that is something that will happen in the next year. Rest of the growth has come from the domestic sector. Okay. Second, another aspect that I would like to highlight is that right. uh, uh, last year, COVID, uh, for, to support the COVID, uh, mm -hmm. to battle the COVID pandemic, Hmm. We had a lot of demand for the oxygen compressors. Obviously, that sort of a demand is not there during the current year. Despite that, we have been able to show a growth in the domestic market. And okay. we believe that this growth will continue in the coming, uh, coming half as well. All right, sir. Thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through all those questions, all the outlook that you have for the export and the domestic business going ahead. Well, that's the word coming in from Kurloska Pneumatic. They stick to their 20% growth guidance and also expect margins in